Welcome to our online class. This is Mom Teresa Tupal. Join me to enjoy mathematics. Are you ready to learn about the end term of the geometric sequence? Let's go! Let us recall about the geometric sequence. Question number one. Determine the common ratio of the given sequence 2, 4, 8, and 16. What do you think is the common ratio? Any idea? Correct. The answer is equal to positive 2. Because 4 divided by 2, that is equal to 2. Or 8 divided by 4, that is also equal to 2. 16 divided by 8, that is also equal to 2. How about number 2? Determine the common ratio of the given geometric sequence 5 over 7, 5, 35, and 245. What do you think is the common ratio? Correct. The answer is equal to 7 because 35 divided by 5 is 7. 245 divided by 35, that is also equal to 7. Or 5 all over 5 over 7, that is also equal to 7. How about number 3? 2 over 5, 2, 10, and 50. What do you think is the common ratio? Any idea? Correct. The answer is equal to positive 5. Because 10 divided by 2 is 5, 50 divided by 10 is 5 also, and 2 all over 2 over 5, that is also equal to Let's do it about the geometric sequence. Let us solve the missing term of the geometric sequence 1, and then the last term is equal to 32. The formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So let us substitute the last term, or the a sub n is 32. The first term is 1 times r. The number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is 6 minus 1. Subtract the exponent so that becomes 6 minus 1 is 5. Copy 32. Copy r raised to the fifth power. If you divide both sides with 1, the answer is also 32. 1 divided by 1, that is equal to 1. To solve for r, write the fifth root on both sides so that becomes fifth root of 32 is equal to fifth root of r raised to the fifth power. So the value of r is equal to 2, or the common ratio is equal to positive 2, because p root of 32 is 2. So let us solve the missing term. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. 4 times 2, that is equal to 8. 8 times 2, that is 16. It means the missing terms of this geometric sequence are 2, 4, 8, and 16. How about number 2? 1 and then 1 over 4. Again, the formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. The first term is 1. The last term is 1 over 4. So that becomes 1 over 4 is equal to 1 times r. The number of terms from this 1, so 1, 2, 3, up to the n term, so n is equal to 3. Subtract the exponent, that becomes 3 minus 1. So copy 1 fourth times r squared. So to cancel 2, write the square root on both sides. So r is equal to 1 over 2. Square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 4 is equal to 2. Square root of r squared, that is equal to r. Next. So multiply by the common ratio. 1 times 1 half is 1 half. 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. And then 1 fourth times 1 half, that is 1 over 8. So, kung patungo sa left, that becomes divide by 1 half. So, that becomes 1 divided by 1 half is 2. 
2 divided by 1 half, that is equal to 4. Or, 4 times 1 half is 2, 2 times 1 half is 1. Solve the missing term of this geometric sequence, 5, and then the last term is equal to 405. Again, the formula to be used is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So the last term is equal to 405. The first term is 5 times r. The number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So n is 5 minus 1. Subtract the exponent, that becomes 4. Copy 405, copy 5, r raised to the fourth power. To cancel 5, divide both sides with positive 5. So that becomes 405 divided by 5 is 81. 5 divided by 5, that is equal to 1. To cancel, to make r, to cancel 4, write the fourth root from left and right. So that becomes 4th root of 81 is equal to 4th root of r to the 4th. So the value of r or the value of the common ratio is equal to positive 3. Because 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, 27 times 3, that is equal to 81. So the common ratio is equal to 3. If 5 going to left, that is 5 divided by 3, so that becomes 5 over 3. So if left going to right, so 5 over 3 times 3, that is equal to 5. 5 times 3 is 15, 15 times 3 is 45, 45 times 3, the answer is equal to 135. So the missing term of this uh, geometric sequence is 5 over 3, 15, 45, and 135. Let us practice what you have learned. Give the missing term of the sequence. The first term is 1 fourth. The third term is equal to 4. I give you 15 seconds. Go. Okay, time's up. The answer is equal to 1, 16, and 64 because the common ratio, that is equal to 4. 1, 4 times 4 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4, that answer is equal to 64. How about number 2? Solve the missing term of the sequence 4. And the last term is 500. I give you 15 seconds. Go. Okay, time's up. The answer is 4 over 5, 20, and 100. Because the common ratio, that is equal to 5. So 4 over 5 times 5 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 5 is 100. 100 times 5 is 500. How about number 3? Solve the missing term of the sequence. If the third term is 9 and the last term is equal to 81, go. Okay, time's up. The answer is 1, 3, and 27 because the common ratio, that is equal to 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3, that is equal to 81. What you have learned, the formula to be used to solve the missing term of the geometric sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. I hope you learn a lot. Enjoy learning! Mathematics! 
I'm Clarissa Tobal. Thank you so much.